Hi guys, welcome back. Now I want to show you how to make a high-pitched wobble. Also, or you know, kind of scream wobble. Very popular at the moment in bass house, wobble house, dubstep, uh, etc. So for this, we're going to use Serum. We'd we don't need to, ah, we need to load an init preset, so we've got a blank patch. Then we're going to select basic shapes. Um, this will give us a sort of standard analog waveform like sine, triangle, saw, you know. And things like, you know, square. We're also going to use some FM synthesis to uh, make things sound more interesting. So let's have a listen to this. All right. So the second oscillator needs to be turned all the way down in volume, not off with this button here but actually just the volume all the way down. So all the way to zero. Let's turn the level all the way up for oscillator A. Okay. Next let's use the LFO1 for the sort of um, FM modulation. We'll go to the warp menu and we'll choose FM from B. We'll turn the warp up to about 25. And then we're going to click, hold and drag the LFO onto the FM from B, which will um, create the modulation tracking. Change the rate to an eighth, and we'll turn the range of the modulation to around, to, you know, anywhere between sort of twenty-five and thirty. Stuff like that. So uh, in this case, we now sort of have a template in which we can do a lot of interesting things now. For example, if we change the, the, the pitch of oscillator B, this will uh, create a sort of slightly different algorithm for the warping of the uh, FM from B. Depending on um, how big the octave interval is between the two oscillators is um, how high the pitch of the screen will be. So it will, essentially it will change the, tim the, the timber. In this case, it sounds a little bit sort of cheap. Um, yeah, it hasn't got the right sort of high frequencies. It's not as sharp as we want it to be. We can play around with the waveforms on oscillator A and oscillator B it actually kind of changes and creates something a little bit more interesting. So we'll try a source signal on oscillator A and we'll just do the same on B. But in this case, we should probably turn on the filter 
and we'll use a low pass uh, 20 decibels um, and let's put the cut off at around 200 hertz <coughs> And then let's also drag on the LFO 1 so that the filter modulates to the LFO. So this is just one example of what we can do here. Let's try using oscillator A with a square. And let's do B with a sine wave. It also gives us a more interesting timbre. difference between using sine and square on A oscillator. So you can change the combinations a lot between A and B to create your perfect wobble. So use different waveforms, um, octave ripples, intervals, and try and uh, integrate the filter, and you should end up with a really interesting sound. Remember at Sample Tools by CR2, we also offer a mix and mastering service. Just head over to www.sampletoolsbycr2.com, click on the Mastering tab, and you'll find our range of services there.